Okay, uh, let's look at the homework 1.3, problem number 7. All right, so let's find uh, uh, f of g here. All right, so part a. So uh, here's part a. Uh, we want to find uh, f of g of uh, x, which is going to be, uh, by definition, f of g of x. All right, so let's uh, work from inside out. So uh, you have f. All right, g of x is uh, x plus 20 uh, over uh, x plus 2. All right. So uh, since the uh, function f uh, formula is x plus 1 over x, I'm going to replace x by uh, whatever inside the parenthesis. All right. So this is going to be, oops. All right. So you have uh, x plus 20 over x plus 2. All right. Then plus 1 over right so 1 over so x now x is uh, x plus 20 over uh, x plus 2 All right so this is just a reciprocal so I'm going to rewrite that so I'll keep the first one as it is Right, and uh, this is going to be just a reciprocal. So I'm going to put the uh, x plus two on top, and uh, x plus twenty on the bottom. All right, so that's going to be the uh, f of g of g of x. All right, so let's find the domain of uh, f of g of x. All right, so first we have to find the domain of each one. So domain of uh, f. Right is going to be, all right, so since uh, there's an x on the bottom, so we cannot have uh, x equals zero. So x cannot be equal to zero. That's the only restriction. All right, then the next step would be uh, g of, uh, d uh, domain of g, all right? Then we have to make sure that the denominator is non-zero, so we want we want x to be different from negative 2. All right. So in order to find the domain of um, uh, f of g, right, we have to look at two things. All right. First, we have to make sure that the x is in, must be in domain of uh, inside function in this case g All right then next step is the inside function in this case g of x must be in the domain of the outside function which is uh, f so domain of f All right so, which means that, um, right, so x has to be in uh, domain of g. So this tells you that uh, we have this uh, restriction. x cannot be equal to negative 2, right? Then g of x, uh, which is uh, this function, x plus 20 over x plus 2, right? has to be in the domain of f, which means that uh, it cannot be equal to zero. So this guy cannot be equal to zero, all right? Then we can just multiply both sides by the denominator x plus two. So multiply by x plus two. You see that uh, x plus 20 cannot be equal to zero, right? So uh, we can just uh, subtract 20 from both sides to get uh, x equals negative 20, All right? Oh, so not equal, sorry, All right? 
So we have to combine these two conditions. Uh, so uh, number one said that uh, x cannot be equal to negative 2. And uh, number two said that uh, x cannot be equal to negative 20. Right? So uh, we so to combine that uh, we can get the um, uh, domain of uh, f of g, right? So it's going to be all real numbers except for uh, negative two and negative twenty. So if if we were to write uh, write it in an interval notation, uh, we have to go from negative infinity. Right, then go all the way up to negative 20, but we skip negative 20, and then go all the way to negative 2, then we skip negative 2, then go to positive infinity. Right, so uh, let's type this guy in. Right, so the function we found was uh, uh, x plus 20 and uh, divided by x plus 2 uh, plus uh, x plus 2 uh, over uh, x plus 20. So that's the formula. And the domain would be starting from negative infinity to uh, negative 20 and skip negative 20 so uh, take the union and then negative 20 to negative 2 then negative 2 to all the way to infinity all right so let's uh, check the answer um, all right so I'm gonna Submit for testing. All right, uh, it came back and it uh, looks like uh, we got this one correctly. All right, so uh, let's do part B. All right, so part B is G of F. So now F is the inside function, All right? So we have, uh, let's find that. So part B, All right, so G of F of x is g of f of x All right so inside function is um, uh, x plus 1 over x All right then uh, go to the definition of the formula of g then every time you see x we're gonna put x plus 1 over x all right, so I see x, we put uh, x plus 1 over x, all right, then plus 20 over, you have another x, so we put the x plus 1 over x plus 2. All right, so uh, to clean up a little bit, since I don't like to have uh, fractions inside fraction, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by maybe x. Right, x here. All right, that way we can have, let's see, uh, x times x is x squared. All right, so I'm going to do uh, x times 1 over x is actually 1. So I'm going to put the plus 1 at the end. Then x times 20 is uh, 20x. So we have 20x here over right, x times x is uh, x squared x times 2 is uh, 2x and x times 1 over x is 1 all right so let's find the domain all right so remember that the domain of f is uh, x is not equal to 0 and the domain of g is x not equal to negative 2 all right so in order to find the domain of uh, g of f, right? So first thing is uh, we have to make sure that uh, x is in the domain of the inside function. In this case, the inside function is f. 
So x has to be in domain of f. And two, we have to make sure that the inside function, in this case f of x, has to be in the domain of the outside function, right? Because we have to plug in f of x into g. All right, so this will give us, right, uh, x uh, cannot be equal to zero, right? So second condition gives us, right, f of x is uh, x plus one over x. So this has to be in the domain of g, so it cannot be equal to negative two, right? Then uh, let's try to solve this one. Uh, so from here, all right, I don't like fraction. I'm going to multiply through by x. So we get uh, x squared uh, plus uh, 1 is not equal to uh, negative 2x. All right. Then uh, we can, uh, let's see, put everyone on one side. So I add 2x to both sides. So you have x squared plus uh, 2x plus one is not equal to zero, All right? Then we can actually factor out. So this is uh, x plus one squared is not equal to zero, All right? Which tells us that, uh, okay, so x cannot be equal to negative one, All right? So x equals negative one, uh, uh, x uh, equals negative one should be eliminated. All right, then, so we have to skip zero and a negative one. So if you want to find the domain of uh, uh, g of f, it's going to be negative infinity two. Uh, we're gonna st skip negative one and go to zero, skip zero and go the way to uh, positive infinity, All right? So uh, let's type it in. All right. Well, let's see. All right, so the function was um, x squared uh, plus uh, 20x uh, plus one and uh, over x squared plus two x plus one, right? And the domain was from negative infinity to negative one. And uh, skip Oops. And uh, skip, um, oops, skip negative one, go to zero, and uh, skip zero, go to positive infinity. All right? So, uh, this is the domain. Oops, I need the parentheses here. All right? So uh, let's uh, double check. So I'm gonna go down and uh, submit for testing. All right, uh, I came back and it looks like uh, we got the uh, part B correctly. All right? So uh, let's look at the part C, F of F. All right, so part C is um, f of f of x. All right, so this is going to be f of f of x. All right, so inside function is f, so which is x plus one over x, All right? Then uh, every time you see x in the formula of f, we're gonna put the one plus one over x. So, so here we have x, so it's a x plus one over x plus one over x plus one over x. All right, 
So to make it look a little bit better, I'm going to multiply top by x and the bottom by x. Right? So this is going to be, we have uh, x plus 1 over x plus x over x times x is x squared, x times 1 over x is 1. All right, so we have that. All right, so let's find the domain. All right, so we need to uh, satisfy two things. All right, first one is x has to be in the domain of the inside function, in this case, f. And the next uh, one is that we have to make sure that the inside function, it has to be in the domain of the outside function, which is also f, all right? So uh, this means that uh, x uh, cannot be equal to zero, all right? And from here, so we have uh, x plus one over x, which is the f of x, has to be in the domain of f, so it cannot be equal to zero, all right? So if you want, uh, we can just uh, probably multiply both sides by x. So x squared plus one cannot be equal to zero, right? But uh, you can see that uh, in this case, uh, uh, this is never zero. So x could be any real number. So there's no restriction. So, um, uh, so here, there's no restriction. Right, so only restriction you would have is just uh, this guy. So if you want to find the domain of uh, f of f, that will be negative infinity to zero, skip zero, and then go all the way to positive infinity. All right, so uh, let's uh, type it in. All right, so the function is uh, x plus 1 over x uh, plus x over x squared plus 1. All right. Then the domain is just the bad number is 0. So negative, uh, go to symbol. Uh, let's see, sim oh, symbol infinity to 0. Skip 0. then go all the way to infinity. All right, so let's check the answer. Uh, submit for testing. All right, uh, I came back and looks like we got the uh, part C correctly. All right, uh, so let's look at the part D. All right, last one. All right, so part D is um, g of g of x. All right, so this is going to be, so inside function is g and outside function is also g. So we put um, x plus 20 inside and x plus 2. All right, so every time you see x in the formula of uh, g, we put uh, x plus 20 over x plus 2. All right, here is x. So um, uh, x plus 20 over x plus 2 plus 20 over, here is x. So you have uh, x plus 20 over x plus 2 plus 2. All right, so since uh, it looks uh, pretty ugly, so I'm going to just uh, multiply top and bottom by, say, uh, x plus 2 and x plus 2. All right, so this will give us, all right, so x plus 2 times the cancel out, so you have x plus 20 there, all right? But you have a 20 times x plus 2, so 20x plus uh, 40, right? 
and the same thing so cancel out so you have x plus 20 plus uh, 2 times x will be 2x and 2 times 2 is 4 right so you will get right on top you have 21x plus 60 over on the bottom is uh, 3x plus 24 right so uh, let's uh, uh, let then find let's find the domain right so we first thing is that we have to make sure that uh, x is in the domain of g right which means that uh, x cannot be equal to negative 2 right number two inside function in this case g has to be in the domain of the outside function so domain of g right so which means that the g of x is uh, x plus 20 over x plus 2. We don't want this guy to be negative 2. Right? So we can just uh, multiply both sides by x plus 2. And we get uh, x plus 20 cannot be equal to uh, negative 2 uh, times x is uh, the negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Right? Then we can just um, add 2x to both sides so we have uh, 3x uh, plus 20 is equal to negative 4 right then uh, also uh, we can subtract 20 to get the 3x is equal to uh, negative 24 right then we can just uh, divide through by 3 to get uh, oh, sorry not equal to not equal to, uh, x is not equal to negative 8 negative 24 divided by 3 all right so we have to eliminate uh, negative 2 and a negative 8 so the domain of uh, g of g is negative infinity to negative 8 skip negative 8 and uh, skip negative 2 and go all the way to positive infinity. All right. So let's type it in. All right. So the g of uh, g of x we found that to be uh, 21 x plus 60 and uh, divided by 3 x plus 24. And the domain is uh, negative infinity to negative 8 and uh, skip negative 8 and go the way to negative 2 and skip negative 2 and go all the way to positive infinity All right so uh, let's uh, check the answer Submit so for testing. All right, uh, I came back and looks like we got uh, part D correctly. All right, all right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.